Oh uh, yeah, welcome to another art vlog, art video, dad vlog, dad life, whatever you want to call it. Um, an artist trying to make a couple dollars, I guess. I'm in an art rut. I'm not in an art block. I just feel unmotivated a little bit. And it's ever since I did WonderCon a couple weeks ago and I, leading up to WonderCon, I had like two weeks notice. And I burnt out. I was like drawing so much, grinding, making stickers. I made like 10 sticker sheets just for that show three prints just for that show and uh, I was just grinding man. I was just like pulling all-nighters just to make art for that show because I haven't done a con since 2019 and I feel like I had no new work for it so basically in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about how I get out of ruts like do I take breaks or do you guys take breaks I don't know everybody says take breaks I don't know but I'm basically just gonna talk to you guys about what I do how do I get out of my rut I'm in a rut right now but I did something today I think I'm thinking I'm out of the rut. I think I'm ready to create something again. So watch this video. Put me on in the background. It's going to be kind of boring. I'm just going to be yapping. I like to yap. You guys know I'll talk about something forever. So in the comments, just let me know how you guys get out of a rut. How do you guys get out of art block? How do you guys become motivated again while I talk to you guys about how I do it? Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all the love the past couple weeks. Um, I can't believe we've been getting so many comments and feedback but uh, also have questions uh, people ask me questions on instagram and i'm going to answer those in this video i'm talking a lot let's go now let's play it so i need your help i need to know how you guys deal with like art block this is i'm not really feeling art block but i know what i want to create I'm just not motivated to create right now. I'm just like tired and I just need one. I don't even want to get out of bed. I've been playing Animal Crossing for like a week and I'm just like, Ugh, I need to do this. I need to do that. And so, and then I just think like, Ugh, and I'll do something, but I'll do it like with no motivation. It's kind of like I'm being forced to do it. And that's the worst feeling. I, I want to know. I need your guys' hat. So whatever you guys do, like your little secrets. I know a lot of people do different things. I'm talking about the first thing that I do, usually. And that's like clean up my workspace, my work area. I can't be the only one that completely rearranges their whole like workspace every couple months. I'll work and then um, I'll notice like I'll start getting bored of the way everything's laid out. Usually I'll rearrange, I'll move my desk to the other side of the room or I'll move all my craft stuff to another side of the table or whatever. And I feel like that helps me like so much. I get so like motivated to create and like the room's brighter and I put up a lot of mirrors and it's just it feels way better and I, I recommend it I recommend switching it up a lot I get made fun of by my brothers and all, ever since I was a little kid I would always move my room around like every month I would move my bed I would move my TV everything in there still to this day they'll call me and they're like what you doing and I'll be like I'm moving my room around they're like again what's wrong with you but I swear it gets it's like getting fresh eyes on the whole place and then it gets me motivated another thing that gets me motivated is getting new products or things that I need for my art business or my art craft section in my room and this week I got a thermal printer and a scanner so here it is me unboxing these and then we'll talk more about being unmotivated after this little commercial testing 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 a new microphone I got from the TikTok shop for five dollars welcome to another art vlog a boring dad art vlog I'm a dad I'm about to go to Barnes and Nobles right now with my kids two of my kids I'm gonna go look at some books. I might not buy nothing because I never do. I always go there and look around and find on Amazon for cheaper. But I got two packages, two investments for the uh, the art business. Uh, I wonder what they are. I don't know. Looks like somebody tried to open this one. Let's let's unbox it. Also, this mic, TikTok shop, five dollars on TikTok shop. So if I sound like trash, I'm sorry. Okay, so that mic was trash. I listened to it back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that in just so you guys know not to buy mics off the TikTok shop for five dollars. I got it for free. They wanted me to make a video for it. I did. It was trash. I said it was trash. All right, it's trash. We don't like it, but let's crack this bad boy open. I think I know what this is. I ordered like three things yesterday. And it's all for the art business, man. We're, we I never buy stuff for the art business. But we're buying stuff for the art business. Yeah. Okay. We got the Mun Bin uh, thermal printer, thermal label printer. I need this for my Etsy, which I'm gonna focus on it way more now. I do, I make, I sell, I have an Etsy sell like once every couple days, but we're gonna go hard on it now. So I ordered some other stuff and then didn't come, I guess. Also, we finally have a scanner. Finally, I'm gonna scan my sketchbooks. And also, I did a drawing on Instagram with a bunch of D&D characters, so I'm gonna um, scan it and I'm making prints of it. So that's what we have. We have a thermal printer and a scanner. 
I'm gonna make some stickers for my Patreon with the thermal scanner. I saw Chrom do it. I'll put a picture here, Chrom on Instagram. He's dope, love him, love his work. So sick. But anyways, I hope the audio is better here. Um, let's, uh, let's open this, let's open it. So I watched that video back and the audio on that one was trash, but also my package came, my next package. Let's take a look. Uh, hopefully the audio is better on this mic. It's a lapel mic, $5 lapel mic. I need to upgrade, I know. Maybe my next purchase will be a better mic because this mic is trash. I sound like I'm underwater in a subway. Oh, we got that. And then I got this. This is um more thermal paper. So I'm basically gonna use the thermal paper for Etsy and also I'm gonna make some six stickers that are gonna be this size. I have an idea, I have a plan. I'm gonna show you guys. I made these stickers for my Patreon a few months ago. This is a sticker, it's supposed to look like a priority mail, like graffiti slap. I made this. Um, I'm gonna make something like that with these, but uh, more of an illustration. So if you want, check out my Patreon, that'd be dope. Uh, Patreon plug, shout out to my Patreon. My number one Patreon right now is Jibba, Jibba Jab. Shout out to Jibba. Okay, I'm in the process of cleaning up my whole workspace. It's a real mess over here, but it's plugged in, turning it on. It's loud. I just wasted a whole sticky paper on the word EO. It just says EO, because I was sampling it. I did it on my own, I didn't read the manual. I'm, a, I'm like MacGyver, okay? All right, let's make something real quick. So, I wanna make my guy. Image, open, print. Bro, it prints in literally like seconds. I did this little quick sketch, I'm running. I'm always drawing my character running because I don't run in real life and running is the goal of mine. But this is cool. I'm gonna make Patreon stickers, some cool Patreon stickers. I have some cool, oh, all right, that's it. Um, I'll, that's the end today. Just, we're done with today. I'm gonna do some. Oh, also came with this cool little flash drive. Um, lighting's bad in this video. One of my rules is have good lighting. I know that. Um, look at me. Take a good look at me. I'm holding you guys up. Lighting. Don't do what I just did. This is gonna be a minuscule clip in the video. This is sick. I love this. This is like. This thing is on sale right now. I'm gonna put it down below. It's on sale for a. Uh, I think it's like 150, it's on sale for like 80 bucks, and I think it's worth it. It only comes with like 50 sheets, but I bought an extra pack of 500 for 10 bucks. All right, I'll see you guys in the next clip. This is what I came here for. Let's see what books I got. Wish, I wonder how good that one is. I'm into Black Panther, Black Widow, Open, My Neighbor Totoro. Oh, that one's quite cool. I'm looking at that one. This page. This page is sick. This one. Bruh, this was eight dollars. Eight dollars. While you do the obvious thing and just like clean up your work area, while I clean, I like to listen to like podcasts or interviews from like my favorite artists or people in the industry. And I've been listening to a lot of Proco, a lot of videos I used to watch a bunch of times. I watched them like 10 times. I'm still watching them over and over again. It's like, it's the ones where Proco goes over to like conventions and interviews artists and gets their tips and tricks and how to get out of art block and stuff like that. But I also been listening to creative block a lot and it's like tons of animation industry people to interview. And my favorite one has been Jorge Gutierrez. This is like an hour, almost two hours long on his is a good one i would recommend that one if you're trying to be in the animation industry or if you're trying to get better at art those are some good ones but when i'm not cleaning i'm not drawing i'm probably gaming or something like that after my convention i started playing animal crossing again and i've been addicted like hooked and it's been like 
taken over. It got like a grip on me. And I feel like if you're a gamer, you got to figure out how to set like limits or something like that. Because me personally, I'll stay up all night playing Animal Crossing, but I have like deadlines for certain things. I have to like force myself to draw or hit my deadlines, but it's good for when you're burnt out. I feel like playing games isn't bad. Just do it in moderation. Like I bought Helldivers 2. I played it a couple times and then I had my convention. Didn't play it the whole time. And then um, I played it like once and I was like so addicted. I just wanted to keep playing, playing. I had to stop because I had a convention. So I'm like, uh, it sucks. But I would say just if you're feeling like burnt out or not creative, just play some games. I swear when I play Animal Crossing, like I start thinking of all this stuff, like how I want to build everything. And then I want to like actually make it like art. I want to do art. I'm doing this on Animal Crossing. This would be like a cool sticker or something. Now let me go draw it real quick. And sometimes I do that. Like for certain games I play, I'll just when I'm in the middle of it, I'll be like, I'm gonna make some art for it and I'll, I'll do it. I'll just sketch and doodle. But that's a, I think that's a good way to get out of art rut. It just feels good to binge a game sometimes, you know? So besides gaming or cleaning, I try out new mediums. Sometimes I'll do like gouache or I've been doing watercolor, but recently I got into like markers and I've been doing way more traditional art. And I feel like when you go from digital for so long and you jump over to traditional, I don't know, it's like getting a, like getting a new game. I don't know, it's fun to me. And then you wanna try all these new things and you get like inspiration and you follow new artists who do the same thing and you get inspired by them and you wanna be like them. It's just a, a rabbit hole that you just keep going. And, and then when you get bored of that, you jump over to something else like acrylic paint or I've been following a bunch of like polymer clay art artists or like people who use Legos to build like ships and stuff like that. Just anything. Try new things. I'm, I'm telling you, when you try new stuff, it, it'll get you off that rut. Just check out these podcasts, like these art podcasts. And I've been taking a lot of tips from all of them and like trying out things that they say. But a lot of times, one of the big things people say is take a break. And I know you're like, like I'll take like a, when I'm drawing for a long time, I'll take like a, a quick, like 10 minute break, but I don't take long breaks because I don't know if it's just me, but I literally, once I start a drawing, like I have to sit there and finish the drawing. I can't come back to it because usually when i i'll start it and then i'll come back to it the next day and it'll be like Ugh, this is mine and then i'll like delete it and start all over so that whole day i used i lost technically even though i was gaining mileage but i prefer to sit there for hours and draw and then i'll get up and do something real quick and come back and finish the drawing because i can't take long breaks i don't know what it is i can't be the only one if i'm not the only one please comment and let me know if you guys can't take breaks i know it's bad bad habit i gotta break i think i am gonna try to break it because uh i guess it's a good thing i'll get more mileage and if i'm coming back to a drawing and starting over completely because they say don't fall in love with your drawings like if it's bad just scrap it you're getting the mileage and eh, that's a mindset i need to i need to break that so do you take breaks back to the reason why i started making this video is because after i was done cleaning my room rearranging everything making everything organized it felt good i felt like i was ready to create but the only thing is is it took all day i was literally recording recording this video until midnight and I finally finished I did my little Instagram video where I was drawing my Pokemon and all that so that's the last thing I did but I it felt good to finally like draw in a clean space and everything felt good especially since after I left to that convention I just left my room in a mess but it felt good to be back and uh clean it up so maybe clean your room are you dirty just stop being dirty and draw so now tomorrow when I actually start creating everything will be where it needs to be and I'll be able to just sit down and draw and not have to worry about where I put this, where I put that. Why is there ants on my desk? Why is there spiders in my color pencil box? Why do I have all these unopened questions on Instagram? Which reminds me, here's some questions from Instagram. Somebody said, my favorite comfort character to draw, it'd probably have to be my own little character, my little fat skateboard guy or uh, Vegeta. I always draw Vegeta. I don't know why, just random doodles of Vegeta. Someone else said, how should we show up daily for the artworks we have? I would say this goes back to the taking breaks part. Me personally, I just knock it all out in one session, which is what I said is bad. You shouldn't do that. So personally, what I would do is I would grab an art book or go on Instagram, look at my favorite artists, see what they do. And then that always motivates me when I look at other people's art. I'll literally be up at like two in the morning, scrolling through Instagram, looking at a, one of my favorite art. Cause I have like notifications on for like my favorite artists. Whenever they post, I'll go and look, I'll be like, damn, now I want to draw. So I would say, Grab an art book, grab a comic book, check out your favorite artists, and I guarantee you, they'll inspire you. You might get unmotivated, like, damn, I'm not that good, but hey, don't compare yourself, bro. Just go and look, absorb all the inspiration, and then go, go draw, okay? Do that, okay? If I could talk to any artist, who would it be? My favorite artist, the one who probably inspired me most to draw was Umberto Remos. He's a comic book artist, mainly does Spider-Man. That's how I found out about him from Spider-Man. Uh, he's a cool dude. I actually talked to him one time before I even started drawing just to get a comic book signed and he's a cool dude. 
all his little homies, all his little crew, they're all cool dudes. Everybody uh, who travels with them at these conventions are cool people, so I would want to talk to him off the top of my dome. But besides that, Stephen Silver. But I talked to him already, but I didn't actually get to talk to him really, but Stephen Silver. Is it okay to be original? What the heck? You gotta be original. I feel like me making these videos is kind of like, like when I record myself, I sound weird. So I feel like I'm not being original, but this is how I talk in real life. If you ever met me at like a show or something like that, when I record myself, I feel like I'm trying to speak properly and I don't really speak too proper in real life because I'm a child of the system, I guess you could say, public school and all that. Uh, I don't really emphasize my words good, so. You gotta be original, man. That's why I do my comics and my characters. I try to base them off my original childhood ideas. Be original, man. You got to. Last one. What's my favorite thing to draw when I am bored? Well, right now it's Pokemon. I love drawing Pokemon. That's my new favorite thing, as I like to say on TikTok with my little TikTok catchphrase or Instagram. Pokemon, but before that, it's like Spider-Man. Anything Spider-Man or my own little chunky fat character, OC avatar guy. He's a cool dude. Those are only a couple questions. I have a few more, but uh, they're just like, can you draw me type questions? Uh, I don't want to answer those. <laughs> Maybe I can draw you if you stay long enough. But final thoughts for this video. Art block sucks. Being unmotivated sucks. Uh, being in an art rut, being in an art slump, that all sucks, but I feel like it's easily, I feel like it's easy to break out of. I see some artists who say they're in art slumps for like years, and to me, that's crazy. I don't know how that's even possible. How could you just give up something you've done your whole life and then come back to it? I don't know. It's probably it's probably just like a weird thing to me because it's never happened to me yet, but these things suck when they happen. I just say my little tips and tricks are game. Take a little break from drawing. Do your gaming thing. Do your pottery. Do your arts and crafts traditional art from digital digital to traditional like switch it up skateboard all these things i do like i just don't do digital art i'll go skateboarding or i'll play with clay or i'll play with legos or i'll game on the xbox or the playstation or the pc or the nintendo switch there's it's limitless there's so many things you could do to switch it up you could even like draw and in, in minecraft and build in my like build drawings i don't know uh blender learn blender all these things you can learn new things to get your mind off of one thing and you'll end up coming back to that thing and be better this is probably like a hot take but that's why i always say like art block isn't real it's like unmo unmotivation like you're unmotivated or procrastination because there's millions and billions of things to draw you just unmotivated to draw but that's what i'm doing right now i'm unmotivated to draw until i clean my room and made my workspace look better and now i'm ready to draw which i did do today i drew today and i'm gonna draw again right now as soon as i'm done uploading this video thank you for watching uh, please, please give me some of your tips and tricks for people in the comments who don't want to watch this full 20 minute long video on how you beat procrastination, art block, art slump, art rut, unmotivated artness. Uh, give me your tips and tricks, please. I would like to know and I'll jot them down in my little notebook for one day when I make an art book, how to art, how to be an artist, a successful entrepreneur in the art world. But yeah, I have something that'll help you guys, uh, Get out of your little art rut if you're in one. I'm doing a draw this in your style challenge when I hit 75k followers on Instagram, which I'm so close. I'm like 100 or 200 away. So go over there and follow me if you haven't. And also, I want to thank my Patreons, my number one Patreon, Jibba. <laughs> thank you, Jibba, for being here. Uh, also, all my other cool Patreons. Everybody on my Patreon is cool. If you want to be part of my Patreon, we're working on the sticker for next month right now. Join the sticker crew. Five dollars a month, plus you get my brushes. You get my downloadable stuff, all that gooba gobble, gooba gooba. And we have a good time. I'm gonna start uploading my sketchbook pages over there since we got a scanner now, and that's gonna be cool. So I hope you guys make it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. Love all the comments you guys been giving me and feedback. And you guys are motivating me, man. You guys are motivating me to keep going. Every Sunday was the goal, but I'm thinking Monday is gonna be the new goal. Everybody needs a good art video on Mondays. So if you watched me, you put me on in the background while you're drawing, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.